And now give it up for Patrick Norton from Techzilla. Yeah. yeah. It's Welcome, man. Welcome so much. So right so tell us up. what it's all about, what's going on here with 3D printing. Okay, so like five years ago, MakerBot wins like a little yeah. 10 by 10 booth, and there's like they're like guys with a folding table, like, look, you hit a button, stuff comes out. And everybody's like, that's cute. It felt like a, a like a little gadget that yeah. I know it meant Brie, and I, I was I was with Bill Nye even yeah. at this event like years ago, five years ago, and they had this, and it felt like a cool little thing. So like five a novelty, years later, right? yeah, yeah. Novelty, yeah. So five years later, Brie comes out. They are part of Press Day at CES. It is a big announcement. One of the first things he says is like, look, we enable people. People make stuff. Our people do stuff, and you know. And he goes, always like, oh, you, you print out tchotchkes, like a keychain. Oh, yeah. that's nice. And he's like, you know, they, they're printing prosthetics for small children. For like 50 cents of plastic gives a kid the ability to grasp and grip things. Crazy. And the crazy story, so they've done that. And kids grow like every 15 minutes. I got two kids. By the way, the Samsung 9000, the washing machine, I want that badly. It's huge. <laughs> it does laundry fast. That is Seven huge. loads or something. Look under, yeah. <laughs> look under the couch. <laughs> <laughs> You're yes. one. Um, but the... Uh, so and then another kid saw the first kid who had a had who had a, had a problem with his hand, and he printed his own 3D hand himself with the printer at his school. Right? Wow. Think about this: a kid's creating his own prosthetic after seeing another kid, and then doing it with like 50 cents of plastic and a little SEL file. He loads up. So a lot of people just ask him what's like the best. They just want to know what's the best tech that you want to take home. It's like a washer. So okay, yeah, <laughs> absolutely the sample 9000 washer. Like, well, it's it's kind of funny, right? Because you know the whole the whole connected home thing, the idea that you have a home automation so you know like texting to your refrigerator to see if there's any beer left right or or you know samsung's doing their version of with the application that talks to everything and all of the home automation stuff it used to be like you know you got ten thousand dollars somebody will put in some cool stuff and lights will turn on and off like you hit play on your you know your blu-ray player and all of a sudden the curtains will go down the lights will go off the mood will come up and stuff will happen yeah and now companies like you know belkin and these other smaller companies are bringing that together just like samsung and the other larger companies mm -hmm. Um, so the home automation stuff is really cool. Those OLED TVs, which you've heard this like 9,000 times yeah. over the last three days, you know, they're gorgeous. Um, much more important, the announcements that, hey, Samsung and these other companies are working to bring 4K content to your living room. Mm -hmm. Because there's nothing worse than having like, I have the coolest television on the planet. It is OLED, it is 4K, it is curved, it is amazing. If I, if I punch a button, it waves at me and turns curved and flat and curved and flat. But being like, and I'm watching upscale 1080p Blu-rays, <laughs> which look great. 1080p Blu-rays upscale look great, but seeing 4K video, that's epic. Okay, top people asking about 4K TVs, about yeah. uh, Netflix going to 4K, YouTube just announced. Do you feel like with all this professional equipment being able to come out and being able to get it at such a lower price and everyone can get their hands on it, that's going to change entertainment in a way? Like professional studios and a guy in his house doing almost the same quality of content? Absolutely. Like I think one of the things the consumer electronics industry learned from the Blu-ray is like Blu-ray versus HDB, battle, mayhem, confused customers, nobody wanted to buy anything, right? So they, I think they probably slowed down Blu-ray by like three years because there were there were two options. They were fighting each other. You could get like one movie on HD DVD, but you couldn't get it on Blu-ray. You get it on Blu-ray, you couldn't get, you know, who wants to own like two, five, six hundred dollar Blu-ray players back when, you know, you didn't get them in a can of Cracker Jacks or a box of Cracker Jacks, <laughs> right? Because it cost eight dollars now. But the, uh, so with 4K, they're like, okay, the 3D thing didn't work because there was no content. So they're like, we're announcing with content partners. We're announcing with movie studios. We're announcing with television studios. Yeah. And by the way, you can buy a 4K camera for under $2,000. And it's like, that's a big deal. Like Polaroid, you know, like not Polaroid, but like, you know, the idea that you can have inexpensive, like three, four, five hundred dollar cameras, those aren't gonna be so good, but a two thousand dollar prosumer camera that can do 4K, yeah. that's epic. And it's like it will be the TVs will be here, the cameras will be here, the YouTube people will be into it, YouTube's trying to do it with a VPN. So it, yeah, I think they're all trying to bring it together because they looked at 3D and Blu-ray and be like, well, we didn't do that right. Yeah. Mm. So how do we fix that for 4K? And it's like, so We've got content, we've got content partners, we've got distribution, we have these absolutely gorgeous televisions, and we're gonna put cameras in the hands at the most affordable price points we can. Well, we appreciate you being here and giving us everything we need to know about the Consumer Electronics Show. Patrick Norton from Techzilla, Let's check it out. Check out all their coverage, you've been doing daily coverage as well, and we have a little parting gift for you. For you, my friend, a Samsung Galaxy Note. This will fit in the plane. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Thank, Thank you, you so much. You,